Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So this video is hopefully going to be a quick one, but we've got a little bit to explain here because I want to help you guys with your 50, 80, 50, 90 graphics cards. Um, if you guys are having problems, which I am, I have a 50, 80 uh, and I had issues. This may not be relevant to you, my particular issue, but through my research and through looking through some of the problems, I did kind of come across a few things that we can definitely try to um, fix some issues and hopefully some of these uh, some of these solutions help you and I'll also explain my particular issue and I'll probably do that kind of at the end and how I solved it it's a little bit complex but let's just say Nvidia driver issue to start off with uh, and we found a workaround eventually so first of all 5080 5090 launch was anything but good anything but good um and to be honest the 5080 especially i mean i bought one i was due for an upgrade anyway so it wasn't a big deal uh but yeah it's looking a bit pear-shaped now if you can get a 4080 super without any form of tariff and tax on top because i think that's going to be the next thing guys there uh, the prices will go up so if you're on the fence i've got a feeling the prices are going to go up maybe jump on and um, get one if you're due for an upgrade. And if you're not, don't feel pressured to do so. I had a 3080 10 gig, and to be honest, I could have almost stuck with that. But the 5080 is great. I love it. It's been going well now. I've solved some problems. Uh, so, yeah, let's get into it. So there's a couple of different issues with these cards right now, uh, and I just thought that I would um, explain a few things. But... There's a couple of things we can try. So 5090s have been known for black screening. Um, bit of an issue, a very big issue, especially when you pay that much money for a graphics card. Same as a 5080. I had black screens. I had issues. Um, but it was more when changing re resolutions, uh, when trying to switch between single and triple screens. Um, I just had total black screens. It would black out. I'd get nothing. When the PC would restart, um, still nothing at all uh, so I'll talk a bit about my issue later but there's a couple of things you can try okay get a software program that's called DDU most people have heard about that but it cleans your Nvidia drivers and also the chipset drivers of your motherboard takes all that out of the system totally clean fresh and you can reinstall from scratch try that uh, that can be very helpful and just follow the all you need to do is jump on Google. I might put the link in the description for DDU, but um, yeah, you can use that software. And I recommend you do that when you're updating NVIDIA drivers in general. On my 3080, I never had an issue. I just kept updating them. As they come out, no problem whatsoever. Um, so, but yeah, I'd recommend do that. Uh, there is some new drivers too at this point in time. Um, so give those a go. Uh, see how they go for you um i also tried the latest studio drivers to see if that made a difference it didn't for me but it might for you so maybe try that um i put a new power supply in my system i probably i didn't need to it didn't fix anything but that was one thing that i did try to solve my problem and i tried a couple of different um uh those 12 volt pwr connectors whatever they are they bolt onto the top of the um 40 graphics cards 50 graphics cards uh i tried two of those didn't make any difference i thought it was worth a try i turned off g-sync free sync uh off all of my monitors just to see if i could get them to work because i was having trouble switching between triples and a single 49 inch monitor um i turned all that off i ran all the monitors at 60 hertz and I tried that too to see if that would make a difference. Maybe it was a refresh rate issue switching. Didn't fix it, but definitely worth a try. The big thing for the 5090, especially at the moment, um, is PCI Gen 5 issues downscale to PCI Gen 4. Um, I only have PCI Gen 3 on my machine. I did try going down to 2 just to see if it fixed anything. It didn't. But I do believe that that's, at the moment, the best kind of fix that we do have for the 5090. Um, I turned off uh, my onboard 
GPU for the chipset for the, in the BIOS that made actually made a little bit of a difference. Like I felt like the machine was starting quicker, but it didn't fix my problem, but it did help. So try that. Um, now my biggest issue and the problem that I had was I've got a 49 inch monitor here and then I'm trying to switch over to my triple screens behind me, which is three AOC monitors. So I've got three AOC monitors behind me and I'm also on a 49 inch AOC monitor. I tried monitor drivers, um, that's also worth a try. But the issue was is that when I would switch over, I have them all plugged in, my NVIDIA control panel would just stop responding. It would just sit there and look at me. Um, the screens would flicker like they normally do when you switch over and it would just completely go black. I would have no screen. Um, and then if I, I'd have no choice but to restart the computer, there was no button, no keyboard like that I could press to bring the screen back on. Um, and so I could restart my computer. And then if I kept the four monitors plugged in, nothing would show up on the screen. Nothing. It'd just be black again. And it just looked like it didn't register the 5080 at all, which was really worrying me. Um, but anyway, so long story short, that was my biggest problem. If I unplugged the three DisplayPort connectors and just had the HDMI 49 inch, everything was fine. It was no worries. So I tried all those things in that list, uh, plus more. And, um, what it ended up coming down to. Now, I couldn't find the answer on the NVIDIA forum, but I do have a link to my description and my forum post in the NVIDIA um, forums down below. So you'll be able to look back on this information and maybe some of this might be able to help you. But um, it's also got my specs there so you can see what I'm running. So what I ended up figuring out, I jumped on Facebook and I got on some sim racing forum guides because that, those guys use triples all the time, same as me. And I thought someone might have a solution there. But what it come down to, some guy said to me that uh, he has the same issue, but he's running a 3090 uh, Asus card. So it's not a pallet problem. Uh, it's not just Asus, it's across the board. So it's like it can affect anyone's card. And I think this is a very niche issue that I'm having. Uh, so take that with a grain of salt. This might not be your issue. So, but if you do have this issue, it's not just 50 series cards. I've seen one or two of these problems on the internet and they are not bound to any particular model or um, graphics card. So... This guy explained to me how to get the system up and running, right? How he explained it to me is get your system up and running with the three monitors or however many monitors it is that you want to run in surround, right? Start your computer from a cold start. This is what worked for me and it was intermittent. Sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. So you got to be ready to go when the system does actually detect the monitors. What I did was found a piece of software called Display Magician, and it is on GitHub. It is free. Um, donate to these people if it works for you because it was an awesome program, and this fixes a lot of other issues too, or it can, and it's a pretty helpful piece of software. What this allows you to do is save monitor profiles. So you can save your 49-inch as a profile and then your triple screens as a profile, and you can set up... Um, well, the way I used it is you can set up a shortcut on your desktop to just double click on the shortcut and it will automatically set your screens up for you with the profile that you select. So if you're fumbling around with NVIDIA control panel, trying to switch monitors and change all the time, you don't have to do that. You can just double click, set up a profile, double click on the desktop icon, which it creates for you, the shortcut, and then you can just switch whenever you like. And it actually works really, really well. So set up that software, get that ready to go and just have it sitting there on your desktop. Go into NVIDIA control panel and set up your monitors how you want them to go. Like set up the one, two, three in surround, set up the refresh rate, get everything right. Um, this is what my problem was. And I'd hit configure surround and it would just sit there and look at me for ages. Like I, I, 10 minutes it would take 
the screens would flicker, the screens would go black, it would look like nothing had happened. Uh, but eventually, eventually, eventually it worked and it actually set up the screens the way I wanted. So when it does that and you're happy, go into Display Magician, which you've got open, and save that profile. Save it. Um, make yourself a shortcut on your desktop. Turn off the computer. Restart. Plug in your other monitor or the other monitors you want to run. Turn the computer on. It should start up in triples because that's what you saved last or what, whatever monitor it is. And then go into the control panel. Go into set up multiple displays is what it's called. Deselect the triples or the monitors you don't want to use and select the monitor that you do want to use. Then hit apply. It will then flicker. In my case, it will take forever. You'll be waiting there for five, 10 minutes um, for it to just switch monitors over correctly. It may freeze. It may look like it's not working. The NVIDIA control panel will um, just sit there and do nothing for ages. But eventually, it will switch over and work, hopefully. And then do the same thing again. Use Display Magician to save that profile. Create a desktop shortcut for single monitor for instance and then uh, all your monitors after a while after it just sorts itself out and NVIDIA control panel comes back online then you should be right to go you should be able to switch between your monitors just by literally clicking on this shortcut and then it may take a little while for the first couple of switches to work but it figures it out eventually and then it becomes quicker and it actually works. And now you'll be able to restart your computer. It should start up on the monitors that you want, and you should be able to switch between the two quite easily without having to do multiple clicks in NVIDIA Control Panel and add more complexity to this because it really did not work for me. Whatever I tried to do was a real pain, but this was the best way to fix it. So hopefully this makes sense. Uh, hopefully, you guys can get this sorted anyway. And if you are having other issues, hopefully this video has helped. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.